nowhere. What's up, Dan? What are we doing? Can we hear Dan or is he? No, we can't hear you. No, no audio from Dan. As usual. Well, that's that's a good thing because actually Joe's Joe's actually I heard Joe's leaving the podcast because he got recruited by another podcast. <laughs> because me and Dan talk too much. That's right. So I figured that, I... Joe. Uh, you're being recruited by the full time. You're not even a full time flipper, and you're being recruited by the full time flipper. That's podcast. okay. That's okay. So it's okay. You're you're going. You're going. You. No, I. I figured... the quirky picker is. We're still we're still working everything out, but I figure I I'll get everything in before Dan gets his his microphone fixed. So <laughs> he's, I, looks I, like he's writing us a note. I can talk he's and uh, writing us. What is he? Joe said I can't talk this week. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> this should be interesting. Then this is gonna be like when they do that footage of Kevin just sitting down there re- reacting. Like it's just gonna be like a un what, are the, what like a on a loop. But this isn't a loop. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> what are we gonna What are we gonna do to get him to talk? Uh, let's see. All right, Joe, you're in the driver's seat, then, Joe. All right. This, well, this is this is your show. Uh, well, don't make it my show because, like I said, I have to. Uh, I have AAA coming to my house in about a half hour. So, what are we? Are what are we gonna do? Because Joe has. To... <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> How long did I make it? So, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be minute. back. Though. I think they have to replace a battery. I, I jumped it a couple times, and it's not working. I mean, as soon as I shut it off, I can't start it again. So, huh. Yeah. But, yeah. So. so, that means the battery is failing a load test. Is that what that means? Yes. Batteries can still show voltage. Oh, is this a reselling podcast or mechanics, a load. mechanics podcast? <clears throat> So you have to get a uh, you have to get a load test. If it's a reselling podcast, you would ask, "Hey Joe, how are your sales this weekend? Are you gonna be able to afford this new battery you have to buy?" <laughs> well, we were getting into it, but you know, before we were interrupted again by Dan. Hey, listen, but uh, if you guys don't want me here, I will gladly leave. <laughs> we're not so letting episode, you. Go, we're not letting you go. Man, that you it's episode fifty. Yeah, well, I mean, I almost made it a year. That's kind of oh, contractually obligated to one year contractually obligated oh what happens after 52 is it did we miss an episode are we at a year next week no no all right, all right. so we 50. got two more this weeks and it'll be a year well three weeks for you because you missed the first episode oh i missed an episode so That's yeah you... you guys are gonna get to celebrate a year before me we're not gonna, we're not gonna... the veteran the veterans here celebrate he said <laughs> yeah Next week, Joe and I are going to do – no, wait. It'll be two weeks from now. Two weeks from now, Joe and I will do a podcast on our own, just like the good old days. <laughs> <laughs> remember them, Dan? Remember those I days? remember that one episode. <laughs> that one episode before <laughs> the Troublemaker showed up. Hey, that, that, you know, there's a – there's. There's opportunity at the full. There's an opportunity for me at the full time flippers. I'm podcast. surprised. I'm surprised we didn't get a text this week from you. Be like, sorry guys, you know, better opportunity came over this way. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> dip wrong. out on you over here. Or I could do both. <laughs> I could do both. No way, I cannot do both. Man, I'm I'm trying to get back into the groove. I I edited four videos yesterday. Good night. Did you list uh, four oh, videos or TikToks? Yeah. I did two TikTok videos and I edited four full length. I'm trying something new. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna start uploading them next week or maybe no tomorrow. My first one will be tomorrow. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna try to stay ahead. Like, I always get behind and then I don't feel like editing. So I'm gonna try to. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try to get a bunch. Of, I'm gonna try to get all my. Friends. I had someone asked me yesterday the last two whatnot shows I did. People asked me about my YouTube videos. And I thought that was very nice of them. Not one of you have, have ever asked me about. My YouTube videos. Why the why they stopped or when are they coming back? To be honest, I didn't watched. see either one of you in any of my shows this weekend. Uh, I did. Sonya was in there. Well, that, Sonya did doesn't stop. count as you. I was watching on her phone. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, me, me too. Yeah. Oh yeah, you <laughs> borrowed Sonya's logins. Not a simple, not yeah, even a simple we pop in. All... I didn't pop in at no. all, huh? I did, I, I, um, you had a lot going on. You had a foodie one going on. I did two you had all foodie kinds of Friday stuff. shows. 
Yeah. You did something so, else too yesterday, didn't you? Didn't you yeah, do, yesterday uh, was a, uh, a puns and – it was I, fun. Pun. It was puns and jokes yeah. uh, show where you, you had to like – you do whatever show you wanted. So I just did like a regular garage sale show. I just – I mean I showed like – I sold like graphic t-shirts and uh, like a few uh, – I sold a mug and then um, uh, you had to tell like puns or jokes and riddles or something. Oh. Did you have any good puns? Yeah, I bought. I, bought I, love a, I love a good pun. I bought some on. Uh, I bought some. Uh, game. I bought a couple games off of Amazon, and they were supposed to be here yesterday morning because I procrastinated. And then instead of just being like a normal person and just getting it free off the internet, I ordered stuff off of Amazon because I procrastinated long enough, and they came in about fifteen minutes before my show. So I was like blindly uh, looking. Uh, questions and I'm like these are like I wouldn't even know I knew the answer and I didn't know the answer. But... So you want to give us one? No, or they're you... over there. I don't remember them. I put them. I, I put them away this morning when I was. I got. I had to give my shipping. I was getting ready for. Uh, I, I got a mess in here again. I just live in a mess constantly. I think we all do. Okay. Oh, at least me. I, I don't feel like, for I everyone. Feel like you, I feel like your whatnot is your social media. Pl- you're like avenue. that was one of the reasons i at first i like didn't want to do it because i was like this sounds a lot like youtube like you just constantly yeah. on youtube you're trying to find people to get to watch your videos and then which is hard yeah and then when it finally happens i mean you barely make any money like and I... then now it's like the same thing trying to get people into your show and then to buy stuff from you too which is hard but I mean, yep. I think I make a little bit more. I don't know. It's pretty close. I, I might uh, YouTube might be easier to make money. I mean, the kind of money I'm making probably lost money. <laughs> uh, whatever. Oh, great. No, okay. Sorry, I'm not supposed to talk. Joe, Joe, tell us all about your stuff. Hurry up before your AAA guy comes. There's not much going on. Yeah. How, how about rest in peace to Frank? Oh Prince? yeah, way to bring down the episode already. Yeah, 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 that sucks, man. I loved, I loved American Pickers. I know one of my favorite shows on TV back in the day. They it's made, still on, but it's not they, as good. They made it look so easy, though. Yeah. Well, they, I mean, people make fun of us for paying up, but those guys paid up. Like they definitely paid up. Oh yeah. They yeah. were there were a lot of times where they would spend fifty percent or more of what they thought the value of the item was because they got all they, the value back up. on the video, the movie, the show, whatever. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. It's easy to that. If my YouTube channel made me bank, then yeah, it'd be easy to spend up, right? Hey, I'm not saying that. I'm not. I'm, I'm not. Trying, I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I'm, I'm just saying like general. I'm saying for I me. Like you're calling out me. people, Jimmy. No, I'm just saying uh, for me. Once for again, me. What, what's the the pot. What's the disclaimer that you? Okay, but said? if you made six thousand dollars a month on YouTube. You could spend more at yard sales. I'm not saying use it to make fake videos or anything, but well, another can. fake you videos that can't money. even be real. <laughs> Man, I can't wait for I can't wait for this triple A guy to get here. <laughs> You're like, oh, he's here. I, like I didn't hear anything. <laughs> I'm just saying. I know you guys are yeah, having fun with me. I get it. I get it. But I mean, Dan, I mean, you can't deny that. Or would you even go to yard sales anymore if you were making that much money a month? On I don't videos? even make nearly that much, and I never. You don't go to yard sales. Yard sales <laughs> I could make a lot less and still not go. I'm at the point now, <laughs> right now. I don't even feel like going to the thrift store. So I'm like, eh, whatever. <laughs> I don't even. I don't, can't even explain like the mental. Like my tick. Well, my TikTok took a dive. That's why I stopped making as many videos. But then I put one out. Two days ago, and it took off. So, like, maybe I, why am I? Why did I stop putting out as many TikToks? I don't know. I don't know why I stopped doing. It. I, I, I did good my first month, but then I did like four videos in a row that really stunk. Oh, as far as views. So then I was like, uh, what's going on? And then I kind of slacked off. It's a slacker. Well, today's today's I'm October first. It's a new month, and you can use your eBay coupon, yeah. right? Is it finally the beginning of the month? Oh, I, I beat it. you guys I to do it. I beat you guys to it, right? Yep. Did you, you already use it? Already? Huh? Did you use no. it? I just no, remembered no. it was today's the beginning of fourth quarter, right? Because I told you I think last uh, month I thought was the beginning. I get September and October mixed up. Um, it is. The, it's so it's the beginning of the fourth quarter, 
and you can use your eBay coupon. I need to get some bubble mailers because I'm running low on I, the, the standard size. Those ones. like uh, what are the standard size? Like the bigger ones, like the nine and a half by eleven. So like last like month, that. I used I used the uh, the coupon to buy bubble mailers. Like the I don't know, they're probably like eleven by whatever. Uh, yeah, and I ended up getting these. Aren't I mean obviously these aren't well. You can't see this if you're listening to us on your favorite audio podcast, but. I ordered eBay ones that were like this size. Uh, I'm holding up a small envelope, probably an eight by seven. If you're listening, <laughs> but they came in and I'm like, oh, great. It's, blue, folks. it's a blue. Envelope. I have a well because I bought these and then I used my coupon for the bigger ones, and then I accidentally ordered the wrong envelopes. So now I have a big old box of eBay ones plus a big old box of these blue ones. So I remember the. Oh, kind of on the same story. You guys remember, it was probably over a year ago, because I buy all my bubble mailers from eBay using the coupon. And one time, they went to, like, these bubble mailers that were somewhat transparent. Like, you could see. Awful. Oh, you could see through them. Yeah. You remember that? Yeah. yeah. That was terrible, because, like, you people could see if you're sending a video game I or whatever mailer. they could see. I'm... So you had, like, I had to put them in a, a different bag. Yeah, to start poly mailing them before I put them in the bubble mailer because I didn't want people seeing what I was shipping. If you're listening to this, you can probably hear they, it. Thankfully, they fixed that, but you, you guys remember that too, then? You guys right? hear this? Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Was awful. You hear that? Yeah. You can. It's, it's my poly mailer. You can, like, see through it. <laughs> it's your new puppet. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. What up? I, show, I was showing you. Like, I bought these. These suck. <laughs> I'm not buying them again. But they suck. Where do you... I'm not going to tell you. Well, how does a poly mailer suck? Because you can like, like see through it. You can see through. Oh, you can like, see through. I, when it. I put stuff in there, you can like read. You can, yeah, oh, that's not good. Putting my. I don't like that. When they, when, and I ordered a whole. I should have returned those ones to eBay when that when that happened because I was like, man, I I ship video games in these. Like, I don't want people seeing what's in yeah, there. Yeah, I ended up wrapping. If I was saying in a DVD or something, just wrapping it in in uh, bubble more bubble, you know. Yeah. Oh. Wraps. Oh, so this size, the bigger size of this. Yeah, that's the size I need yeah. right yeah. there. Yep. So I was running. I, I like didn't. I couldn't wait until the first to order these. So I, I ended up finding these and bought them on I mean, eBay. I think eBay, and they were cheaper. But I, I still think I'm going to use my coupon for this size for eBay. I, I think I like the the eBay ones better. I need to order them now because in the past they've ran out, especially at the holiday season. Like people are going to start loading up on. For the fourth quarter. We're in the fourth quarter, so we can talk about it now. So before this comes out, I'm going to order mine. <laughs> but those of you listening, get those ordered because sometimes eBay runs out. They, if you're, eBay doesn't always have them on hand. People are going to be buying supplies. Oh. So. All right. Get that tape. If you want. If you order tape through eBay, sometimes they run out of tape. I use the uh, what kind of tape. I use eBay tape. All the time, I, I, I want to. I need to order more of the three inch tape. That tape is that I have a three inch tape gun, and that stuff works good. I just haven't ordered any in forever. I don't even know why I don't why 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 I let it run out, and then I don't order. I don't know. I don't know. Do you use three? I, I ended up buying a bunch of uh, eBay tape at a at a flea market. The guy got it in a storage unit, and oh. I, I probably bought like. I don't know, 50 rolls. Did you that. ask him if he had anything else from the storage unit there? It's probably some good stuff. Yeah, he had a lot of stuff. And there. The only part, he didn't want to was a seller or did he? No, I, he no, he just bought storage units and just happened to be one that had stuff did in there. Did you tell him that you sold on eBay? I did. Did you tell him you're a full time flipper podcast host? No. <laughs> it, this, this was, I'm still working off that. I probably have like maybe six or seven rolls left of it. So. Oh, speaking of running out, you guys remember I, I had that giant roll of bubble wrap that I got? I, I had yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. I've been two and a half years that roll lasted. Two and a it was like this industrial size giant. It's down to like five sheets left. I, the roll is gone now. Really? It's uh, off the roll and it's literally just like five. I'm going to have to buy bubble wrap. Where are you going to buy it from? I don't know. Should I buy it from the world famous one? Should I use somebody's code? Code Dan and Demand. Oh, I got no code. Code Dan and Demand for some American Bubble Boy. I don't, I don't know. I haven't really man. thought about it because I haven't had to buy bubble. 
like, you know, American Bubble Boy was a thing I looked into, you know, as far as with my channel and maybe doing a deal with them. But I was like, I haven't had to buy bubble wrap in two and a half years. Like, I don't have history of buying from you guys because I haven't had to buy any. Like, Wait, I've had bubble just, wrap. Oh, man, I think I got a return request. Oh, shoot. Oh, nope. perfect. Uh, perfect timing. It was recently viewed. It was something I looked at. Uh, good, good, darn. Good, 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 good. We don't need we don't need none of that going on because that we haven't talked about that and it's been good for me. I don't know about you guys, but we're not we're not allowed to talk good. about it. Nah, I, I've had one. You want to talk about it? Yeah, Joe. This this episode's all about I don't you. Want to. Let's tell us about it, Joe. It's clearly not. It was just a normal. What the heck is that supposed to mean? It was clearly it, not. <laughs> a, it was just a another clothing item, you know, returned to me because it didn't fit. Oh. You should take some better pictures. No, it, it, it was. I, I got the message that this is not a real extra large. Now, hmm. do you have measurements? Make, yeah, I put measurements in the photos. So, uh, well, I mean, there's no extra large varies from brand to brand, from year to year, from decade does. to decade. From it does. So how does that even? I, I bought know. like Carhartt, like. I started wearing, instead of wearing Dicky shirts, I wear Dickies. I switched to Carhartt and I got my, the size I normally get in a Dicky shirt. And it was like a freaking giant shirt on me. And that doesn't happen very well, often. Now you're, now the you're Dickies, just bragging. The, now I'm just bragging. You're right. And so I had to go a size down from uh, another Dickies brag. to Carhartt. I oh, switched my brag. shirts and I need to go a size up. <laughs> <laughs> That, hey, listen, you know stuff like that doesn't happen to guys like us. Like, I bought that shirt, and I was like, "There's this never happens that a shirt is too big for me. But it was. So, and I kept the one, so Sonya hates that shirt because it looks like a dress on me. <laughs> it's, uh, I wear it around the house. It's like my lazy wear around if I, the house. If I do that, I, I feel so good about myself when I buy a size down. <laughs> Like, is that a dig at me? Walk around with a little extra stride to your yep. step. Walk around like I walk around like I did something to the you know to go down in a size. <laughs> I lo- I did nothing to lose weight, but I lost it. And then reality hits when I put my boxers on. Same size, <laughs> same. <laughs> what? Yeah. Joe, you got a, is that basketball new back there you got behind you? You play some ball or what? I uh, yeah, I I bought it at the flea market. It's just a regular basketball. Are you I selling or are you going to play some ball? No, nah, I'm going to sell it. It's a, it's a, it's probably like a forty dollar ball. Oh, nice! I paid two bucks for it. So uh, another brag. I have an, I had enough, uh, I have enough basketballs around that's here. That's what, we, that's what we do, Dan. We brag about. Don't you know we make videos bragging about what we found and showing it off to oh, people? What's, what did you find this week? Did you go yard selling? Still yard selling? Still? I, I went to an. I went to an estate. There wasn't. There's not a lot of yard sales. I did go back. I did go back out though. Um, we've been going to the bins. Sonya's been Sonya's store. It's doing good. Sonya's had like she her first. She's not in not a full month yet, but she's already has like almost a thousand dollars in sales. Dang. Her store is doing good. good, and we've been going and getting her clothes from the bins. But I went to an estate sale. And I found some cool vintage stuff. I found some cool vintage Halloween stuff, some Ben Cooper masks, a whole mm-hmm. box of that stuff for a dollar. Mm-hmm. Wow. So, yeah, it's been a – but there wasn't a lot of sales. So I went to two other sales and didn't buy anything. Yeah. I was I was supposed to have a, uh, a yard sale at the house, but it was my, my own yard sale, but it rained over the weekend. So I spent – You scared to get wet, spent, Joe? like – no, I spent like two days getting everything together and made a mess in the family room and, you know, went and got tables from my brothers and. You don't have room to have an indoor garage sale? No, my garage is full. Of crap. Oh, you're going to say the S word. I, I was. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll be back, boys. Oh, he's, oh yeah. Oh. Typical Joe just walks out on us. Look, pull, pulling up. I'll wear it. Pulling up. Okay. Go get his new battery. Yep. Hopefully. Hey, don't forget to let them know who you're voting for in one month. (laughs) (laughs) He's going to do that, too. He's going to go up there and tell them. So have you heard the good word? (laughs) 
Have you? <laughs> Wait, so you've been listening? I, be, I, 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 well, yesterday I like, spent no. most of the day editing <laughs> video. So no listening. No huh? listening. No, I've been listening. I li- I just got done listening today. I listened like been listening to Christmas ornaments. I've been so no. awful at listening. It's ridiculous. Why, man? But you- I don't know, man. I'm like in this. I'm still in this like just this thing. I don't. I don't know. Like I did. Uh, I I like had a couple pictures, but I did a few. What did I? Did I just have shows? On Friday, I did a couple of whatnot shows, and they weren't like a ama- I mean, they weren't like a ama- my. I had a foodie show on Friday, and the I started off, and it was okay, but like I, I didn't. I mean, it wasn't like I crushed it and made a lot of money. So then, yeah. uh, anyway, I like kind of spent the day doing some other things, and I was taking pictures, and then at night, someone lost power because of the the uh, the hurricane. Um, yeah, and, and so. The hurricane that made it all the way up yeah, here like somehow. Storm, it was storms or something like, mm-hmm. uh, which I, yeah, I, I like happened. was like oblivious that it was. I was watching the news. I'm like, oh my gosh! Like, did they have like in Kentucky? People didn't have power. I was like, what the heck? I didn't. I was oblivious nope. to that. Uh, but anyway, they had lost power, and uh, I offered to do like another show because I still had stuff to sell. So I jumped in and did another show, right. and uh, oh, that's what it was. And it's been. Like my mom, my so my mom watches Dodger. I probably talked about this last week. I, I might have mentioned it. Yeah. So like I just didn't have. Um, I was hanging out with him more, like walking him and hanging out, and then it's just hard to get stuff done when he like. There's like not room for us both in here. Like when I'm trying to move around, right. he's like right at my feet, and uh, so I just kind of yeah. don't do anything. So I, she's been doing like going to lunch and doing things with friends uh, this week, and uh, right. or last week, last couple weeks actually. So I haven't had, so I've been watching him more. So I'm, it feels like I'm not doing more. So I've did more like live cells, which I, I mean, I'm gonna be feeling it probably if I don't get my act together. Because, and I, no, I get it. Because I was thinking about like we were talking about your dog a little bit and how, you know, I have at home. I have my two boys that live with me. They're they're adults. My wife's here. Like I can easily, and you know, I got the two dogs. I can easily come down here report the podcast and i don't have to worry about what it, what the dogs are doing or, or anything like i don't have to worry about anything that's going on in yeah. the house because i have that family here to i don't i can close the door to the basement and i can be like i'm recording my podcast no worries in my mind whatsoever because and if i come down here to work again the same situation usually the one of the boys is upstairs or whatever i don't have to worry you know having that family there and supporting it, it's and so I understand, you know, why it's helpful to have your mom watch the dog. Yeah. I get it. Well, I mean, I was just kind of, that was just because that's why I haven't been listening so much lately. And I've really, uh, yeah. like, I've been, I've been enjoying selling, doing, uh, selling cards, the cards. Like I, I bought that yeah. collection from, from the listener, Eddie, thank you. And I had so much fun looking through it. And then I had like a, a one good successful show. And then that kind of like just got me like, man, this would be awesome to do this like at times. So I'll do right. I've been doing uh, like early morning show um, and then I did a few shows on Dibdit. I'm actually doing a Dibdit show tomorrow, Wednesday, when this is out at night on Dibdit. And I'm going to do one in the morning on eBay. But I've had I just had fun messing with that, which like I don't know enough about. I know a little bit about cards because I used to mess with them. But I don't know enough to right. make it where to justify I'm trying to be successful I mean, to, at again, making money I'm at it. I'm not like that's the only thing I focus on, and I that's what's been. Right. It's kind of new and it's kind of exciting. So then, like, I have a pile of clothes that I know is going to make me money sitting there waiting to get listed. But oh, this is fun sorting yeah. through these cards, uh, which was one of the reasons yeah. I didn't want to get back into messing with cards because I get obsessed with it. And I think that's where I think right now I'm obsessed. I'm psycho. Yeah, that's the, I think it's a it's a hard thing to juggle because I think you have to right now treat it like a hobby. Yeah, it's not it's a hobby that maybe makes you a little bit yeah. of money, but not not enough. Obviously, not enough to pay the bills or anything like that. So you have to look at it as like a hobby, and then what make pays the bill. Like I'm struggling with that. Like me and Sonia were talking. Like we need to treat eBay like a more like a job as far as the time we put in. I'm not talking about you know as far as like 
my attitude, like how I think about it. But as far as the time I put into it, I need to treat eBay more like a job. I need to put eBay, my, my more of my time into eBay and then the hobby stuff like the TikTok and the YouTube, I need to put hobby, hobby time into that. Yeah. And that's one thing since I started doing reselling it, it is I never take time to do anything but reselling. And I think that's where my burnout like kind of started. And then right now I like, oh, this makes this makes me a little it makes me a little bit of money. And I'm like, oh, OK, yeah, this is great. But now I'm obsessed with it. And it's like, I don't want to do my yeah, work. Yeah. Yeah. I know I'm going to feel it. Cause like I, I, over the weekend, I had 12 sales for on eBay, 12. And, uh, that's not I funny. mean, it's, it's better than eBay. has been, been slow. I mean, I was very I happy with that. Especially I haven't been listening to a lot. I haven't been listening to a ton, but I've been consistently getting right. sales in, but I know, I, I mean, I know that's going to just dry up and it's going to stop. And I keep on. So like right. today, we're gonna we're doing this podcast we get done i have i scheduled two live shows tomorrow so like i need to make sure i'm prepared for those and uh so and then it's right. gonna be time i'm probably not gonna do any listing excuse me so then tomorrow i'm gonna do a show in the morning probably ship that stuff then i my goal is to hopefully do like some pictures but i'll be honest i don't know if i will because then i have a show at night i want to make sure I'm set up and ready for that. And then Thursday, I'm going to have to, sh or I'll ship that. Maybe I can ship that before. So Thursday is going to be like the real yeah, day. The time huh? crunch. That time crunch. We all, we all deal with that time crunch. Because next thing you know, like you said, it's 10 o'clock at night. And you're like, what if I, what do I, I don't have time to do anything. I just, you know, I already put all my money, all my time into this. Yeah. Like, yeah. Man. I don't. But I'm, man, I'm, some of these TikTokers, they make me feel like, I man, like there's a couple of these younger TikTokers that I watch that, are e eBay sellers and they have like full on like they've, and that's like, that makes me think of the competition. So when I start thinking of the, that that's my competition. Like they're, they're the sellers that I'm competing with. It mo that helps motivate me because these guys have warehouses and their list. Like they're the, this one that's like the flipping brothers or something like that. They're two brothers and they try to list 120 a day and they have this whole like, set up i mean i know it's i there's no i couldn't do it even if i tried but they have this whole like production setup like they have everything set up like a business and they run everything like a business and i'm like man like there's sellers out there that are doing this like hardcore like how do they do that camp. and they do all that content because they spend eight to ten hours a day working on it like they they do they 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 actually treat like i said they the time of it they treat like a job. They put, I mean, it's, it's, I struggle with, in my mind, thinking I used to work for a company. I worked a lot of overtime. I'd work 10 hour yeah. days. Now I, maybe here and there I put in, but I don't work 10 hours straight ever on my eBay stuff. There's, I take two hour breaks in the day because, because Mine's I can. chopped up my day. My day's always like yeah. when I was, I mean, I, I, it's been a month if you, I mean, I was close to 1300 listings on my eBay store and now I'm back down to almost 1200. Like I've been, I'll list a few uh, sporadically. I mean, it's, I mean, it's like, it. it I mean, I, I, I I'm going to need, I at a point where I barely did anything before when I was focused on YouTube all the time and I would list a few things and I didn't really understand how much work I needed to put in my eBay. And it was when it finally like started looking at my, bank account i'm like oh okay yeah i need a and then that's the i jumped into gear like i i, I don't want to get to that point where i'm gonna need that again but like it's just yeah, been i just been so bad well big part of it is those like those guys have like five thousand six thousand listen i don't have room for that much i don't even have that much room for i have i do but i have to rearrange I my whole find, basement I don't, to, I don't know to fit that many because right now i'm at i don't know who you're talking about like some of the I don't. I, I've seen people. I know what you're like. Not them specifically, but there's people that I come across on TikTok, and I see their setup, and I see what they're doing, and I'm like, oh my gosh, because I'm in the same. I like. I'm, I don't have a desk. I have a shelf. I've had this shelf for five years, and I thought I would be doing something to, like it would be more organized than I am. And I, it's. I'm like, I see them, and I'm like, I'm never gonna be any good at this. But then, do you use banker boxes at all? I. I mean, I have these. I have. I have every kind of setup you want. Oh, like I have these behind me 
And then, but in my garage, I have tubs. And then I just have, I mean, it depends on where I'm at. Like nothing's the same. Like this, these banker boxes were just for X because I was listing quantity at the time. Like I used, that's how I used to, I mean, I, I, right. I don't want to say everyone that's in recent, when you get into reselling everyone, but I think a lot of people, their first mindset is, oh, I need to have a billion items. And that's where I was at. I was, I mean, nickel and diamond, everything. So then I was running out of space. So then I put these shelves up behind me and then I started using banker boxes. And then uh, when I started doing, going th for more uh, sell through rate, like th those are, that's just more shoes because I had problems with my shoes outside and it just, I don't want to stack up bins mm -hmm. in here. I mean, I guess I could, right? I was asking because Sonia went to banker boxes. She's using, she's picturing her clothes. Then she's bagging them in a clear yeah, bag and then into a, banker, into a banker box that she has laid, the banker box labeled. So, and we're just going to, she's going to have her clothes in, except for the bigger jackets we'll hang up oh. on our rack that we have. So the banker, but uh, you know, in their clothes, does she, does she number them or anything? She put them in a clear bag. But so like if it's she, a pair of jeans, you know, like how, how, how is she going to know the. Yeah. I haven't asked her. That. I think, I think she said she's going to put them in the bag to where the label or whatever is showing. Like whatever article of clothing it is. Like if it's something that's like, a, like you said, a pair of jeans, she'll put the tag to where she can see the tag. Something I think like that. I, I would think I like to put a number on mine and I feel like. A lot of people who bag their stuff, I don't want to, I mean, again, I don't want to speak for everyone, but I see everyone has like yeah. a number because you're going to get that one item that's going to be messed up and then it's easier to find, like, it's just easier to find. I mentioned that to her that maybe she should, but right now she's, you know, she's not quite to 100 listings. So, so it's a perfect time to make sure to it's correct. Like, because I started off with uh, one bin of clothing and then I added a second bin of clothing and then um, it got to the point where then, okay. Then everything was bagged the whole time because I'm always just scared something was going to happen to it. So I just wanted to be in. And then it got to the point where, like, I would sell a pair of jeans and, and instead of folding it. So I don't, I mean, honestly, I, a pair of jeans is going to be hard to see the label inside the jeans, right? If it's, right, it's going right. to take more time to fold right. it up. I can say right now she might have only, she only has like three pairs of jeans right now. So, like you said, Maybe the, right now it's the time to yeah. fix it, but right now there's not a lot to sort through. Oh, yeah, you know, yeah. Shoot. But then when you get up to it, like now I'm at uh, 43 bins of clothing. Uh, um, mm -hmm. And they're all, it's, they're, they're, yeah. I have a certain amount in each bin too. It's like they're all, so it's not like, I mean, they, I might not need that many, but instead when you find out when I, I used to pack them so full, you wouldn't be able to find anything. So it's, it's different right. that's too. why she went with the baker banker boxes. Cause she doesn't want, she said, I don't want big tubs that are overflowing, like with 40 articles of yeah. clothing in or whatever. She's like, oh, I want to keep it more manageable with the banker boxes. I'd rather, she said, I'd rather have a wall of banker boxes than five or six tubs that are over that. But that's again, though, this part of the whole, so Sonya started the clothing store and it's like, it's still part of we both work on it. Like I help her, me I help her source for it, but she's managing the whole thing. I was like, this is gonna be the best way, because she's like, you know, like she's like, you do eBay all day every day, and you list all day every day, and I'm, you know, I don't see that side of it that much. I was like this is the best way for her to learn it. Oh, yeah, to do it all by herself. You know, make you know make her own mistakes if she makes mistakes or whatever. You know, as far as like like you said, keeping the inventory. So I'm literally like it's yours, like it's yours. I'm not. I'm not going to tell you how to do it. I'm going to. I'll give you advice, but you do it how you want. Is she promoting? She is she promoting. Have a store? Um, she, she does not have a store yet, so she's not running a sale yet. She sends offers. Is she cross listing? She, like I said, she's doing she cross listing the Poshmark. Not yet. No, not yet. That's probably smart. She's gonna. So part of our plan is to get all, I'm actually going to move all my clothes to her store. Mm. But first we have this pop-up that in Columbus uh, on the 19th of October, that lot, it's called Stitch Fest. Go check it out on Instagram guys. Stitch Fest, if you don't mind. Um, it's a, it's a, you know, live event where we're going to sell clothes. We're going to take all of my clothes. Put the all the clothes I have on below. eBay. Yeah, I'll put, okay. Yeah. Um, and 
after that, when we come back from that, whatever we have left that we didn't sell at that live event will then be moved over to Sonya's store and it won't go back on my store. Mm-hmm. So, and we're going to take it. I'm going to take everything off of eBay when I take it because I don't want to be sitting there trying to remember what to take off of eBay and what not to, what to leave on there. I'm just going to take everything down off of eBay. Not to mention I, I have a huge death pile of clothes that I stopped listing because of this live event mm. that we're taking too. So, Hey, Joe. What's up? Welcome back. All right, so I needed a new battery. Um, what do you think it cost me? Four hundred dollars. No, they installed it for you and everything. Yeah, well, AAA did. Yeah, AAA did. Yeah, one ninety four. Two twenty two. Is that about right? Batteries are. I mean, it was. Yeah, but it was super convenient. Thanks, I mean, I guess for, you got to pay. We for were that. really talking about reselling, Joe. You come in here with your stupid battery. <laughs> <laughs> This is his show, Dan. I can't win with Dan. Yeah. I can't win with Dan. No wonder why he doesn't let me talk. Jeez. I ruined the flow. Did you did you did you tell me at an eBay store? No. You, you think anyone sure. listening to this like knows about anything about batteries uh, other than the mechanic guy over here? Wow. Because I said four hundred and your, your eyes look like I, I was like, what are you stupid? <laughs> I was expecting somewhere around three. I was expecting somewhere around three. I thought it was a legitimate <laughs> question, and I bet you most of the people listening to the podcast thought you're know, like four hundred sounds pretty reasonable. <laughs> Inflation. Yeah, that's exactly I what guess. I was thinking. Okay. Well, no, you should apologize to all the listeners. I'm just. Saying, I was, should, like, I'm like. You should try to sell them some car hardware. There's or something, something wrong with you like have, my you, video I know or something. Like I'm, I'm like out of whack or something. <laughs> no, you're doing the debt. Was that a tribute to? Oh yeah. Um, well, no. You guys want to mention anyone else that passed away in the last two days? We're not even buzz I mean, killed still, anyone else in this episode. Pete Rose. Did we talk about Gosh. that yet? Pete Rose, Charlie Hustle. Oh. Yeah. But anyway, that guy was all business. He didn't want to talk about anything. <laughs> he was all business. You should have been all business. Did you tell him you're recording a podcast? <laughs> I didn't. I told him I was doing work in the. We're trying to work over here, Joe. I know. Listen, he was all business. He didn't want to talk. He didn't like, want to... Oh, let me go see. Let me go for a walk real fast. <laughs> I was going to say the podcast felt pretty normal with Joe. <laughs> oh, I'm glad to be back, guys. I'm, I'm glad to be here. Yeah. These guys when I, when well, I well. edit the videos, Joe's, Joe's audio line is... <laughs> It's like this the whole time. <laughs> Is it really? <laughs> and then every once in a while, a little bump from a laugh. <laughs> yeah, Joe, what's up, man? You gotta talk a little bit more. You gotta get in there. You gotta, you gotta, I don't know, man. You gotta take over the pod, take over the world, Joe. Well, I, I tried to talk. I tried to talk about my experience with AAA. It was very, it was yeah, but it's a, a recently podcast. Were... 50 episodes. You still have to figure okay. that out. You talked about. You talked about reselling. I called Jimmy talking about clothes. So, I mean, we talked somewhat about reselling. Yeah, you had to make it about your battery. (laughs) I did. I'm sorry. I I apologize to everybody for for talking about death and and car batteries. Death and car batteries. That's actually the name of your next podcast, right? Death and car batteries. (laughs) Should be a title for this. That's a good. I guess we'll take car batteries over there. You're trying to push your agenda on us. (laughs) Here we go. I can't wait till next month when all this is over with. All this hoopla. Oh, (laughs) a big day for you, right? November what? Oh yeah, act like you don't know what day it is. (laughs) Oh, oh, is it? He's already messaged us, people. Listen, do not listen to anything he lies. He's already messaged us. Be like, guys. November 5th, we can't do it that day. We can't record because we usually record the podcast on a Tuesday. He's like, we got to do it either the 6th, preferably, but we go. I mean, is, epi- is it really? But election day is on. I don't even look at the calendar. Oh, what? You got to be someplace too? You guys outside? Oh, damn. He's working the polls. Oh. He's the po- I got to. Yeah. Ah. I'll be not, out there. Not, not, not the stripper pole, like the polls at the. Oh, yeah. We, I'm sure. It, we all got your joke there, Joe. <laughs> so I'm the only one that's going to be here on the 5th, ready to record, because 
other than you, like, I'm here for business about reselling. Whatever kind of political views you both have, I don't care about those. <laughs> <laughs> you vote for whoever you want to. Um, I'll vote for whoever I want to. And we don't I'm have not to sure talk everybody about it. I'm not sure everybody believes you, Dan, because you you do you do have some uh, you know political views that you do push. What do I push? Well, he does, does he? I keep I keep my mouth shut about stuff. I don't need to know their business. No, nothing I say is can convince anyone to see my way. And then, I mean, you probably can make me sway my my uh, thought process on things. So, I guess I I I mean, I have that going for you. I guess is it is it you going for it? You can change my mind, is what I'm saying. Like I'm easily, oh, I'm easily. What do you call it? Persuaded. Uh, yeah, persuaded. Convinced. Persuaded. I'm a people right pleaser, word? which is, I mean, it's. Oh, <laughs> we didn't even talk about being oh. self-diagnosed. Uh -oh. I have a new self-diagnosis. Uh, my legs are absolutely on fire, and I've done some research into this, and I've not seen a doctor or anything, but I'm pretty sure I've had. I have Achilles. Achilles tendonitis in my legs. You have what Christian McCaffrey has? Is that uh, my legs are on fire yeah. from the back of my knees all the way down to the bottom of my heels. They are just absolutely miserable all the time, and I'm pretty sure it's that. Uh, turf toe. I thought you had that. I thought you were going to say you had that. What's that when someone just spontaneously combusts or whatever? That Lyme disease. Lyme disease. Lyme disease. Don't you get Lyme disease from ticks? I oh, think so. Do you? I, yeah. I think so. Listen to us. We should be doctors. This is the this is the PhD podcast. Yeah. That's them, not me. I like the leftovers. I like the leftovers. <laughs> no. So what? What's your new diagnosis, Jimmy? Sonia diagnosed me with it. I'm not gonna say because it's mean. What mean? Mean uh, for her? No, that's not mean. She she said that I have ADHD. No. Oh, you're gonna try to you're gonna try to you're gonna try to be the AD? I'm not at all. I argued with her. She she said, "I've been she almost she was almost like I've been meaning to tell you." <laughs> <laughs> I think it's too much TikTok for you. Then, if it's... How, how many years have you been together? Uh, twenty five. I've been I've been I've been meaning to tell you for twenty five years. Is that what, is that <laughs> I how like, she... Maybe she has it then. I, I, think I, I, I mean, I I don't I really know much. The only thing I know about ADHD is ADHD Dave. Yeah, me too. I don't, I don't think so. But she's told me. She said I've been meaning to tell you. Huh? I was like, you waited twenty five years. To tell me. <laughs> <laughs> so that's my new self diet. Let me know in the comments, guys. Wait, did you tell yeah. us what you what you found at the estate sale? Or did I just space that out? I yeah. Oh. I mean, you don't yeah, listen don't, to me. Yeah, like I, I, to me. I really tuned you out there. The ben, I found uh, ben Cooper mask. Ben Cooper mask. Come on. I didn't. Listen, I didn't. I found this is the first time I'm hearing that. I don't remember that at all. Uh -huh. Sonia found some like really old folding chairs that might be like seventy dollars a chair. They're like they fold. They weird, sound miserable they to ship. Like <laughs> now what? They sound miserable to ship. Yeah, okay. they will be. I told her. I asked her how she's going to ship yeah, those. She put up in her how, how is she? That's the first thing I said to her. Have fun shipping those. And she said, you will. <laughs> Joe, what did you find this weekend? A uh, bunch of DVDs. Some good ones. Some of the, uh, the Clone uh, Wars from Star Wars. I was listening, Blue, Blue, Blue I was listening to uh, uh, this weekend reselling with uh, Ray, National Flipper. I'd flip that and then uh, Brendan. Never heard of that. Shut up. You've heard of that. I was on there a few <laughs> weeks ago. Thanks, both of you, for watching it and... You yeah. were on there? Oh, yeah. Like a month ago. It's been out for a couple of weeks. Thanks a lot, guys. Uh, I really Thanks like how we support us. each other in our endeavors. Uh, but not the episode I was on, but a different one. The DVD Bedazzled with uh, Brendan Fraser well, with, uh, Brandon and Fraser Elizabeth and Hurley. Elizabeth Hurley? Yeah. yeah. That's like a... It's like... Comp, comp it out. Look it up. It's like worth... I don't want to. I don't want to say. I can't remember off the top of my head what it was. I was shocked because when I the movie came out when I worked at Blockbuster and we could not give that movie away. Is that the one where he like makes wishes? I think wishes she's the devil. Like he I think she's like the a devil Colombian the drug lord. I think. I think Elizabeth Hurley's the devil. I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. Yeah, and she like grants his wishes, yeah. and he like he becomes like this Colombian yeah. drug lord, and he's the cops on it are really good. And I, damn, and yeah. 
Well, a blue, a Blu-ray, a Blu-ray. Well, that's the first. Why? Thing. What are DVDs? Um, I mean, I'm just gonna be honest. That movie sucked. Yeah, we could not give it away. Why is it so? Probably threw him away. Why is it so? Um... We probably threw him away. I just don't get like I I don't even and I get I get yelled at in my videos because I don't look at media. You don't look at it at all. I just don't look at media. Well, I don't. I don't understand it. The, the one that first comes up that's, that's, that's sold September thirtieth. There's one that came up September thirtieth. New sealed, bedazzled, special edition movie widescreen. It sold for five ninety nine. The one below it, same cover, same DVD, same everything. Pre owned, sold for two hundred and eight dollars and thirteen cents. Well, what the heck's going on then? Why? Ray, know. if you're listening to and this part, in, which. It's another one of those beanie baby. No, when I looked it up, because black diamond. What are you doing? I'm putting a rubber band on my oh microphone. My ADHD style. You gotta stop. You're gonna <laughs> get us in trouble. You can't say you had that. That you can't self diagnose. You self diagnose all the time. Like stuff that's like my legs hurt. My legs really hurt. I ha I really had plantar fasciitis. I'm offended that you self diagnosed. I get that legitimately. Diagnosed. The, the the doctor told me to eat some beans, and it was gonna cure it. <laughs> I think he told you to roll your foot on a can of beans, oh, not frozen like a frozen water bottle, and a yeah, tennis yeah. ball. <laughs> no, you, but you oh, can you can oh, self diagnose yourself with that. You can't like self diagnose okay. yourself with like. I didn't. Sonia did. But you argued so that you didn't so. have it. So now so you have it. Did true. you forget you didn't have it? No. All right, you guys got to talk to her about it. Ask her why she did that. I don't know why she said that. Wait. Now I'm gonna be in trouble for saying it on the yep, podcast. Probably. Well, now I got it. We got. I mean, we got. What else do we? We got to talk about some reselling stuff. Resellings. I don't know. I, eBay's uh, been slow. There, has it been one, slow? One... Yeah, it has. My, uh, he's my he's, he's only shipping out 47 packages a weekend. Not not 48. I had 12 this weekend. No. I was really happy with that. I only got like eighteen for the weekend, and that's slow. And then my pay, but I judge by payouts. Yeah, oh yeah, my payouts. Sucks. I had one of the worst, but one of the worst payouts. But again, I've it's this. I haven't put in work, so what I got was way way better than I was expecting. And what I got and what I made off of uh, my live shows, which isn't all, it's like what I usually make. I'm like, oh, okay, I'm happy with that, and I've done like less work, kind of, not really. Like life, life sales take like a lot more work. That it's really not worth it. I'm just. I wonder how many people do daily payouts on eBay. Like, there's you can do daily. Yeah, you can right? do monthly too. We all do weekly. I do weekly. Though, right? I do it because yeah, it feels weekly. like a paycheck. So we all. Do yeah, it feels like a paycheck. So when I say that, just to be clear, when I say that, my my payouts are every Tuesday. Yeah, mine too. And so I had one today, and it wasn't. It was not mm -hmm. great. Does it hit? Does it hit the bank on Tuesday? It or is it in your bank. Does no, mine does. Payout, mine does. Leaves it leaves eBay on Tuesday and shows up in the bank. Mine usually gets here yeah, on Tuesday. Right. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. It, it's, it's your bank. It has to do with your bank. Yeah, I have a small bank. Right. Uh, small town bank. I thought Dan was being fancy again. No, I mean, it, I mean, it might be there already. It's his political affiliation. Yeah, whatever. That, that's what it is, Jimmy. <laughs> I like how you guys always you guess? Uh, gang up on me. I didn't gang up. We talk. <laughs> yeah, my eBay payout's already yeah. there. You got yeah, there at ten forty eight. Yeah, mine ten forty eight this morning. Um, look, it's amazing that they'll send six figures like that same day. Yeah. Six figures. Yeah, right. you, what's the last for your social and your uh, pin number? <laughs> Do mine? Whatever. Yeah, I'm um, telling you. I probably forgot it. I haven't. I haven't been. I need to go. How do you actually go from thrifting? I'm like, am I going to leave today? No. When I get done, uh, nah. Well, I should go to the bins later. I should go to the bins after this. I, if I don't go to the bins or first thing in the morning, I do not go. Because then, like, I, I don't feel like it. When I come back, sometimes the traffic's <laughs> bad. So I'm like, there, there's like, the traffic will be backed up because uh, if there's something on the, if there's construction on the highway, people go, go get off and go through, like, the how they go to the bins and it'll be all backed up and it looks miserable. But we've been finding some good stuff there. Sonia found like, Oh, how do you guys know about these Wrangler shirts that are like worth a lot of money? Dan, do you know about those? 
They're like Wrangler button up pearl snaps. They're worth a lot of money, but they're like they're worth like yeah. But the, are they like uh, the forgot, old, old like, ones? Birch I know wood or pearl, pearl snaps beach are okay. Wood. I didn't really think they're worth a lot of money. No, but uh, let me let me see if I can bring it up. So, so Sonia found three Wrangler pearl snaps, and when she was looking them up. She found it's gonna be like uh, bedazzling where one sold for five dollars and one sold for seven. No, it's like they're like weatherproof, weatherproof. and stuff. Yeah, I, I want to find the name because like she, she's like, and we had to verify that they weren't those kind though. Yeah. Um, but we, we had to make sure we verified because we were like, what the heck? Let me see if I can find the highest. I want the style, the brand. It's like a what's it called? Joe, why he looks for that? Yeah. Joe, did you go to the flea market this weekend? Did we already ask you that? Um, it's called it, a it rush rained, copper. It rained Friday, so there was you no put it up on the screen. Friday. I can't. No. So, Saturday I was. Um, I was just looking up the name. I wanted to look up the name because there, it's a, it's like the style. It's called a bush, a brush popper. Brush popper. Yeah. Like B R U S H P O P P E R. Look at the comps on some of those, man. So, anyways, we had we had to verify that they weren't those, but we learned. But I learned. I was like, "Cool, this is cool." We learned something that to keep an eye out for those because some of them are worth crazy money. Anyways, I thought I thought you you being a close seller might know that. Sorry, oh, is that a, is that a dig at me? Yeah, it was. <laughs> I'm, well, Another now we're gonna team up on you. No, I just thought maybe you would know. Too. No, I didn't. I mean, I've, I've never, I've never heard of it. Thank you. I mean, yeah, I sell I mean, like small brand. I, I'm not a very good seller of clothing. So I, there's like, and I guess they're re-releasing them, but I guess they have almost like a, I guess they'll have almost like a waxy feel to them ish, and like the they're like the, they have like an inside liner that's stitched to them somehow. Hmm. So yeah, keep an eye out. What for, what did they sell for, Dan? I mean, the cops are all over the place. They're like Lucas thirty to hundred over hundred. Was that one like three hundred yeah. right there? Yeah, because some of the older ones can go for over a thousand. Oh, uh, did we like, did we see some of your Twitter political Twitter Pat, tweets coming? It was from Pat McAfee. If that if that is that uh, allowed? <laughs> yeah. So I, that's a that's for me. That's a bolo because I didn't know about them. I've never heard of it, and it was. But it was one of the one of the one of our Van Buren boys was like, let me just, let me see it, let me see if it's a brush popper. He asked Sonya that, and he he's the one that he looked at. He said was not, and then we checked the other. She found three. Oh, but yeah, the bins have been good. And finding like still, we listed those for like forty bucks a piece. Those. The I don't ones. remember if it was last episode or the episode before that we were talking about. It might have been two episodes. The scream mask. Uh, uh-huh. I I. I saw a picture and I sent it to you and I sent it to Eddie. I don't know if you guys, I sent it to you guys at the exact same moment and you both came back to me with almost identical prices. Okay. Well, that yeah, it made me feel, it made me trust you a little bit more, Jimmy, to be honest. Oh, well, good. Cause <laughs> I already know I trust, we were at like, I already trust Eddie. We were I was, in the I was like, I swear to God, if he's even remotely off a little bit, I was gonna throw you off the podcast, <laughs> but I, I asked my mom. So if you didn't listen to, but the year is important. The year on the there should have well, a year I, on she that. She hasn't digged it out yet. So, but if you haven't, if you didn't listen to that episode, yeah. we're we're talking about a screen mask, and I mentioned that my mother has one that she just randomly bought at some place, probably on clearance, and she uses a decoration, and she just never took the tag off of it. So I found the picture in my randomly looking for, I was looking for like to put up a thumbnail for one of my like live shows. I'm like, Oh, here's the pictures. I took a bunch of pictures last year, except for, uh, uh, the, the, I guess the, the thing that makes it, the reason I didn't sell it is because I, uh, when I sent you those pictures, I comped it out again. And it was the same thing that I vaguely remember last year. I thought it was between 40 and $90. And that's why I didn't list it or mess with it. Because I didn't want to give something away for forty when it was worth ninety, and then you both told me it was probably two hundred or two fifty, somewhere around there. I think it could be. I, but it was it, it was the uh, it screen. was the face, the mouth. There was something with them, and I didn't take a good picture of the mouth. Yeah. So now it being October, I me- I finally remembered to mention it to my mother again, and uh, she's going to let me list it. And uh, she, she said she should be getting Halloween stuff out pretty soon here, the next day or two. 
And whatever it sells for, more about them. if I get over a hundred dollars, we split it. Anything other a hundred dollars, I I can keep. So uh-huh. Danny's gonna have some McDonald's coming up pretty soon. <laughs> the double so, Big Mac. I saw that. Yeah, yeah. I guess on some of those older masks, the mold had some like certain marks on the mold. So when they when they molded it, the mouth will have like some of the really valuable ones. That's I was, like, I was thinking about McDonald's right now. <laughs> I had McDonald's You're yesterday. So lucky. I had two. I just had two. Those are the best. Yeah, I love cheeseburger. their cheeseburgers. Oh, I'm like man. a plain old... Joe. I bet likes the I filet mean, I... fish. I love the filet oh, fish. Oh, you man. do, huh? If I could, <laughs> if I could, if they were as cheap as the cheeseburger, what what does that mean? There's a hidden message. Joe, though. you want to tell him? No. I don't know. Tell I don't you. know the hidden message. We'll so. tell you later because it's the reselling podcast. It's not a political podcast at all. <laughs> I didn't know there was a hidden message. Oh, who loves? Who likes fillet of fish? I don't know. Who's who's sandwich's favorite? All right, I'm, look it up. I'm looking it up right here. <laughs> oh, here we go. Wait. But anyway, yes, Dan. Getting back to, I did go to the flea market. It wasn't much going on, and then. Sunday, there was some yard sales that were canceled Saturday, so I I hit a couple of them up. Yeah. I did pretty good on that day. So. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. but just mostly DVDs. Um, I bought a bunch of Wu Clan. You've been selling a lot. Have What's you, that? Anything? Yeah, like um, anything? You've been selling? Yeah, I, I had a pretty good weekend. I think. <laughs> so you found some Wu Tang Clan? Yeah. Some clothing? No, CDs. Oh, CDs. Oh, yeah. Well, that does oh. good. Like a bunch of them. Like uh, 10 of them. Really? I got for like five bucks. So I'll, I'll just lock them. You were that much into to media, Joe. Like, I just didn't know. Yeah. Wait, are you serious? It's We've been we... 50 episodes. You don't know nothing about Joe? No, I know. I've learned over these 50 oh, episodes. Oh, my goodness. Like, it's that, it's just so easy to list. Joe makes me no waste Joe. all my time searching through media because he's like, Oh, yeah, I found this worth $175. Oh, I found this worth $700. Oh, look at this. I found this uh, all the time. I found that. I do I, wonder what the best DVD I've walked past is because I walk past all of them. Unless it's a box set, I don't even look at it. Really? Or sealed. If it's sealed, I'll look at it. But It's a lot of junk, though, right, Joe? I mean, a lot of junk. You got to you, yes. it. There's more junk than. And then sometimes yeah. I'm not in the mood for that. But, Yes, it does take, I think but I, more- I still can, I, I still can't look at a DVD and tell you if it's worth it or not without looking it up. Yeah, Larry, right Larry sent us all a list. Yeah, he did. Uh, I, I'm not going to lie, Larry. I had a little bit of trouble well, reading I think he mentioned writing. that, that his, his that, handwriting was really can bad. Can we get that in an like, uh, Excel spreadsheet? That'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> so. No, I mean, like, so you don't like ever buy out, like when you walk up to a yard sale no. they have a tub full of you but like, i'll give you 20 dollars for all your dvds you know, i yeah. usually turn all that down if if i usually turn it down unless there's something that's you know really good you in should there do it like and then you could set up at the flea market yeah yeah there you go <laughs> try to get a quarter of dvd or you could do uh, it on i went to one i went to one i went to one house I that was selling on what not do it or no, dip dip. Rays. you can do it on dip dip Blu-rays and Shop DVDs. Commons. Yeah, Shop Commons. Yeah, Shop Commons. I first want to say it. I let, I let, Blu-rays I let and you DVDs say it this time. four for a dollar. So <laughs> four for a dollar. Yeah. So at that point, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't look any of four them up. Four for a dollar. Check everything. my math, but I believe that's a quarter a piece. Yes, I, I bought every one I had, and some of them are, were, some of them were good. Like fifteen twenty dollars, and then some of them were like seven dollars, three dollars. So I'll, I'll throw them in my yard sale that I'm going to have eventually. So oh. now I'll look at some audio CDs. Like I'm always looking for and cassettes, but I'm looking like you said the right genre. I'm looking for rap and heavy metal. <laughs> yeah, you know, but you just keep those for the PC. Dan's mm-hmm. favorite. Oh, you're looking for Taylor Swift uh, CDs favorite. too, right? I did go. I did look for Taylor Swift at Walmart. Because they apparently they were sending out. This was a couple of weeks ago. They were sending. Well, I guess out I missed that text that you sent us. Autographs. 
<laughs> autograph um, Taylor Swift CDs to Walmart. Oh, thanks, oh, Joe. Sh- thanks for letting me know. Yeah, well, you, you didn't respond. I told Jimmy. No, he didn't. He you. laughed when I just packed the huh? I actually found the autograph. Did you too. really? You didn't say, he didn't send a text, did he? Joe's always thinking about himself. Uh, and then he comes on here and just sits there quietly and then wants to pretend that he's not like running everything behind the scenes. <laughs> we all see, we see the thumbnail. Guys... Front and center's Joe. Oh, my God. Look. Everyone go look right now. Who's right there? Right up front. I, I, you can tell he's a lot taller than me and Jimmy. <laughs> Where's the picture of the three of us in Kentucky? I, or, know, I think I deleted it. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as I got in the car and was driving away from that. <laughs> Man. I was trying to end it. I was I was air dropping him the photo and he just kept on deny 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 that's it <laughs> whatever whatever I like that picture we look happy in that picture we were in the kitchen it was leftover see you know we put a lot of thought into that picture you know, that's yeah. you really think that's what we thought about I was in there because I was eating I was eating pizzas. <laughs> <laughs> Did we have pizza? Yeah, we had pizza the first night I was there. And then I had it. I had it for lunch one day when I had the whole house to myself. I might. I might be having a sudden road trip coming. Where are you up. going? I might go to the the hundred mile in Virginia. When's that? Tomorrow. Is it really? <laughs> yeah. Well, when are you going to decide? Tomorrow. I got to call this dang jury duty. That's the reason I'm not going for sure. Because they've been every week. I call, call next week. I call, call next week. And so last week when I called, they said call next week. So I have to call tomorrow to see if I have jury duty. I can't go if I have jury duty. Jimmy, the only way to stop that is is come November. That's the only way you're going to be able to change that. Right. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> right. I'm, I will be casting it. You're Tell right. them. I think I'm my mom used to do this small <laughs> I think my, my mom used to do this with George. I'm probably not supposed to say this, but she used to write back that she was pregnant. So she wouldn't have to. I remember that as a kid. I don't know if that. So just check off. Uh, well, I should call them and say I'm pregnant? Yeah. Don't you have to send something back in? We have to send. I think we they no, send us like a postcard. We have to send it in. Here you have to call. It says, okay. it gives, so they send you it in the mail and then you have to call. So like it says call after what this hour on Wednesday. What if you don't have a phone? They don't have yeah, payphones anymore. And then it, it's just a voice recording that tells you. Well, your town, you, and, you live in small town, Ohio. They might have. Do you have payphones around there? I haven't seen a payphone, but you know what? I have seen a lot of. I'm not going to tell you. What? Um, what have you seen a lot of? I'm not going to say. Gonna say signs it. in the yards. Yeah, flags signs in the yards. Hats. Flag. Buttons. Obscene <laughs> gestures. Hmm. Bumper <laughs> stickers. Oh, before I forget, uh, probably two or three episodes ago, I was w- recorded live. I was ordering magnets, reseller leftover magnets, and they are just, they were getting yeah. shipped. They're out for delivery, and they've just been missing in action. And uh, I went and checked. Well, did that guy, did you buy them from that guy that you bought the cards from? Or? <laughs> <laughs> I was checking the tracking, and apparently the, the, the little package of, of magnets were too big to just drop off here. I was supposed to go up to the UPS store and pick them up. I didn't know it, and then it was past the date that they were going to be able to pick up to be picked up. And I have no idea. I have no idea where they're at, so I don't know. So they went back to the. I, I don't know. I have no idea where they're at. No, I, I I messaged them to find out, and I haven't heard a response. I'm more worried about my thirty dollars. Did you go to the UPS? No, store? it said it was past the date it was supposed to happen. But they might still have no. it. No. Maybe I'll go. Did they leave like a sticker on no. your door or anything? They're... I thought they left like a post-it they, note or it something. It comes in like a little, that, just that, like this little envelope that I thing blows off. Well, I mean, I understand that they should have delivered it to your mailbox. You could have just left I it agree at the, the step. The little package. I don't know. Maybe, maybe. Dodger was barking. Dodger doesn't know. bark. Yeah, Probably wasn't even here. Yeah. He's not here right now. <laughs> 
I'm gonna go over. I'm gonna go over to pick him up, and he's gonna what? not want to come over have me again. He hates me. Huh? He hates me. Whatever. Poor Dodger. You say poor Dodger. What about poor Dan? Poor Dan. His my dog doesn't like me either. My dog. He hate my little turd dog. Give me Wait, we're we're like an hour. Have we even talked anything about reselling? We did. We what talked did we talk about. about? COVID, we talked about we talked about people that have TikToks that sell. That was just you bragging about you have TikTok and you make money off of TikTok. It wasn't about reselling. I didn't even talk about making money you on TikTok. You make a lot more. About how you much made. TikTok. Joe and I both sitting here in the dummies. We don't that. even have. We probably have less than hundred followers. On TikTok, how many followers you got, Joe? I don't know. Do you want me to look? He's got, nah, it's not he's the got to point. switch over to his political, his political TikTok, and yeah. he has way more. Yeah, give us the real TikTok, Joe, not the, the Philly Picker <laughs> one. Give us the one, the real one. Pennsylvania <laughs> Joe. <laughs> Pennsylvania <laughs> Joe. <laughs> oh, shoot. Philly politics? Oh, no. Uh, hold it. on. Philly politics. Let me switch. DJ. You say you're switching for real? No. Whatever, I have Gosh. I have two thousand five hundred. Yeah, really? That's good, Joe. Yeah. Are you serious? On you need to be putting out videos and get that sucker over ten k. Joe, I don't know. I had I had one TikTok that went to one hundred and forty seven. I have one hundred and fifty three so. followers. How many videos have you put out, Dan? I don't know. Can you count? <laughs> oh wait, like I can just count. I have. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, seventeen. Oh. None of them went viral then. Huh? No, I think my most one has. Were they re- were they reselling? No, they're all do- they're Dodger. Look at oh, look at them. Well, hey, dog videos do good on Dodger. I can't play it. Yeah, I don't we'll, think I follow you. I don't think. I mean, I, just so I sound cool, I can't play this because of copyright infringements. But I don't think it matters to us. So you I, I mean, I don't. I don't really think that matters. But I um, Forget I watched him. the one dog one. Where's he going? Oh, oh! There's another one of your ex messages that come He's on. So happy! Look uh, how happy he is. Who's chasing That's my him? stepdad? <laughs> <laughs> this is great. This is great. Does he do that for you? Huh? Does he do that for you, Dan? No, he, no, he, he's like obsessed with my stepdad. That's what he does for me. <laughs> <laughs> rolls around in the dirt. Oh, Dodger! For those of you listening yeah, on your favorite audio him. platform, we're watching videos of Dodger being chased and playing in the I'm grass. Sorry. He's, he's, just, he's hilarious, <laughs> but he hates he hates my guts. He hates me so much that I bought a garage selling. One of the first things. I bought this year. I bought him a new bed at a garage sale, and I was so excited about it because his bed is. My mom bought him a bed for my room, and it is humongous. And I like it takes up half my room, and I wanted him a different bed so I could walk in my room. He didn't like this bed, and so like I won't. I he wouldn't lay in it. So then I got I put his old bed back, and then he lays in it. And then I I had the new bed in here, trying to figure out what I was gonna do with it. And then finally I got sick of it in here, so I put it back in my room. And it's on the other side of my room. And now I decided the other day, he's like, he lays in between the beds. So now he has two beds in my room. And now I can't get rid of it because it's, it, he, I'm like, I feel bad because he wants, he obviously wants it. So now he yeah. likes it. Dan, I would be mad at you too if you took my queen size bed away and gave me a twin. I'm, I'm pretty much going to be mad. <laughs> Shut up. And that's basically, that's basically what you did yeah. to him. Yeah, you better bring that pillow top, or you're not. Yeah. Uh, whatever. Yeah, my dog. My dogs both have beds, and they don't use it. They'll lay on the hard, hardwood floor. And that's, really? Our pug, it, our pug sleeps in the bed with us, uh, and then Bean, the Frenchie, sleeps on the couch. Uh, so that's we don't have bed. We don't really have beds for our dogs. Oh, mm-hmm. I'm sorry. We, well, I mean. Poe's a good sleeper. Bean used to sleep in our bed until he attacked us in our <laughs> own bed. He woke, he threw up, and he was mad, up. and he literally tried to attack. He scared. At 3 o'clock in the morning, me and Sonia are <laughs> all. And he's like, it's not just like joking, playing around attack. It's full-on Cujo attacking us while we're sleeping. 
<laughs> he Yo, thought you were happened? getting a home invasion. <laughs> yeah, for real. I always go from oh that my gosh, be, I'm always scared I'm going to wake up and there's just going to be some guy standing over my bed ready to just stab me right in the face. <laughs> <laughs> you watch way too much way, way oh, too much I'm i started the sopranos finally i've oh, never seen I've never the sopranos. Yeah. Uh, how, how many episodes you never seen any of your gym what i'm i'm four episodes how do you in. like it started i like awesome. it awesome uh, i'm watching the penguin that's good i saw the first that's, episode I'm, I'm gonna watch the second one here shortly how about vince, vince mcmahon your your idol, Dan. Did you? I saw that. I saw that uh, six part series. Right. What did you it think was of that? Okay. Like I didn't. I didn't really think yeah. it was anything different than I already knew. Right. Mm. I don't. I don't know what I'm missing. I I, I watched it all. I mean, it, like you said, there's a lot of stuff. Well, like it, so, it's, I just so it was... people under they they like he tried to buy it so they wouldn't get released because it made him look bad. And then during the thing, someone was. Like some of the higher people on WWE were like mad about the way he was portrayed, and I just was like, I feel like this is how it's been the whole time. Like, like yeah. he, I mean, he had to do, he did stuff that was, uh, to to make WWF big. He like kind of went into terror. Like, I mean, it was now a wrestling podcast or yeah. whatever. From a wrestling standpoint, he did stuff that yeah. well that people didn't like, but we already knew. We already didn't knew. have like anything in writing. Yeah, yeah, it's like you knew everything. And then, like, the new stuff. But I think that's what the documentary was. So, I think originally the documentary was supposed to just be about him and, like, just about that about that stuff, whether we knew about it or not. It took – it changed once all those allegations but That was, like, the last, came. what, they had 15, to 20 minutes it. of it? And, I mean yeah, – And they didn't – I mean – Right, and they, they, you know, the fact that they had they had to keep running, rolling, and scrolling across the screen that you know this was all recorded before the latest allegations. Oh, yeah, yeah. So like a lot of the stuff that we saw was all recorded before his, because he had to step down a second time or whatever. All right, yeah. well, hey, yeah. we gotta do some. Uh... I mean, I just enjoyed it because I enjoy wrestling, and I've watched a lot of wrestling. Yeah. So. How about uh? Your favorite rapper, Diddy, Dan, you any comments on him? I don't know. No, I don't know anything about Diddy. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I never was a big fan of Diddy. No, okay, never been to a Diddy no, party. I've not been to it, I haven't <laughs> been to very many parties at all. I got, I got invited to a one? Halloween party, but I'm probably not going to go. <laughs> You got invited to a and you're nah. not gonna go? I love a good Why? Halloween. Party. Granny Danny, oh, break it out. Yeah. No, what uh, do you call it? Danny Granny? Danny Granny. Granny Danny. Oh, you could go as Granny Danny. Yeah, I don't know. It's just cause it's I, I don't I don't really I don't drink much and everyone drinks and stuff, and I just don't have fun, so I'm not gonna go. You don't drink much or you don't drink at all? I just, I mean very it's a very very rare. You don't have to answer no, that. No, no, I'm not saying like I hate when I because I don't know the answer. Like I never drink, but I have a jank a drink. Once in a blue, I, like I haven't had a drink since like July, That's and it was like I had one. Yeah. My brother bought me one of those Mountain Dew hard Mountain Dews, like a few days before we I went to Kentucky, just to try it, and I had it, and like like uh, that was it. But like, is it a costume party? Yeah. Then you sh- That's fun. You don't have to. You don't have to drink yeah. to have they fun. Have everyone dress up and, and stuff. play some games. I'm sure uh, they'll have some fun games. I don't know. Bobbing for apples, yeah. Bobbing for apples, and what am I gonna go as? Like they, a yeah. guy would, I mean, <laughs> you go as the penguin, but Ooh, no, you should go as Granny Danny. I could, I like it. You should, and yeah, maybe I will. You'll have fun. Yeah. I, I mean, I like, I like a good Halloween dress, or I could just stay home and watch TV. What are you gonna watch? If you stay probably home? football. It's probably on a Saturday. Gotcha. I don't know. I don't know. You should go, Dan. I'm more worried about yeah, trying to get some real work done, Joe. It's not games right now, uh-huh. okay? <laughs> what are you doing no, no, to get more work done? That's what I was just going to say. I'm what like, you, you know what? I think we should like give ourselves a uh, what, what we're going to get done between now and the next time we record. Because I like I don't know what's going to me. Me getting thrown out of my house is—is is that going to be the thing I need to get get me kickstarted to 
do some real work. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that'll, that'll do it. That might be. That might what's be. That guy, what's that guy doing over there by the park bench? <laughs> what's he got all this Why's stuff he, with him? <laughs> Why is he dancing on he's TikTok? Got... If I'm just doing whatnot shows <laughs> from a park he's bench, dancing. start worried about me. <laughs> you should start a dancing TikTok. I, I'm man. just. I'm, I'm trying sure. to think how many. Like I got to do some. I was saying earlier. I don't know. I mean, like, not really going to do really much listing or. Probably till the weekend, so or close to it. Got my. Really no, nope, I'm gonna. I mean, as long as you make some I'm money, I guess it doesn't matter. I just feel like I'm gonna do it. I think part of it, my my brother works. You guys, he has a new job, and he works like today. He worked like 16 hours, and like I, I like, I'm like, oh my god, like he he leaves for work, and I'm like laying in my bed. I was listing, uh, some stuff <laughs> to a whatnot show though. Like how much hard how hard is that? Everybody comes home, I'm like. Laying in my bed, like I'm like, what? I mean, he just worked like 16 hours. I did do something, but I feel, I don't know if it's that. If part of me is that, it's like I, I like, I feel like he's like working like a ton. So then I feel in my head, maybe I'm like, ugh, I'm not really working. Like, I just wonder, like, if it would, like, I don't know. I feel like I work better when there's like when Sonya's down here working. I work better too because there's someone else working by me. Uh, Sometimes when you're home alone and there's no really like nothing to motivate like, you, just getting stuff like doing stuff. Yeah, but do you work? I no. When I'm work, so right now that's what I was telling. That's what I was telling earlier when Joe was it. I don't think Joe was here. I was saying how like I've, I'm obsessed with with messing with these. I'm gonna say I don't really mean it, but like stupid cards. Like I'm messing. I'm obsessed with it. So like I'm not like yeah. You're doing your hobby. We talked about it. You're doing your hobby, not your job. Right. Yeah. Mess. I'm playing with that. But 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 like before that, I was like nonstop, constantly, all day, worrying about how many listens I'm putting up. Like I for real. Like my day was sporadic all day. Like I should take a day and that I'm just gonna do my eBay work and just map out like time how much I'm working. But like I can't I can't work eight continuous hours on my work. Like I just like working from home it, that does not work. I have, I work a little bit in the morning. I have to do stuff around the house, like just regular household stuff. And then I work and then I have to stop because then I go get Dodger and then I come home and then I work again. And then I have a set amount of stuff yeah. I'm going to do. And whenever I'm done with that, I I'm done. So like sometimes I can do like start my work and I can work for longer before I have to do anything. Like, you know, I'm like just getting up and like unloading the yeah. dishwasher because like you can't like, when I'm eating my breakfast, lunch at home and just sticking dirty dishes in the, in the sink because like the dishwasher is full or the pots and pans, you know what I'm saying? Like cooking breakfast and yep. leaving the no. pans on the thing until dinner time. That's annoying to me. So then like I need to clean it. You know what I'm saying? All right. So you never work, you're never working like a straight Right, yeah, Shit, but it's like some days if I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna have a sandwich for breakfast or something, and that's like, there's no cleanup in that. I'm not, I'm just using that as kind of an example. And then when I'm like, I can work, and then by the time I go get Dodger, I'm because I tried that before. By the time I went to go get Dodger, I was done with my work for the day. Like I was, I was done. Like I had my, like my ten listings or my, because I was doing dollar amounts, and then I moved to like just making sure I was doing consistently ten days, ten listings a day. And when I was done with that, I was done. I don't know. Joe, because uh, just because we're talking about this, like Joe, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it this way because I remember what it was like being a part time. But my kids were also grown, like they were teenage, late teenagers when I started doing this. When do you find time to list? Like, do you usually before your shift, after your shift? Do you just do it when you get a chance? Like I just I kind of do it when I have a chance, but I feel like I work better when I have like a deadline. Like I know at, you know, three 30, I have to leave here to go get Riley from the bus or whatever it is. So I know that I have, and I kind of work better that way. Like if I had a, a whole free day, I find myself, if I have a whole free day to do what I want, which I rarely do, but if I do have a full free day, I don't get much accomplished because I end up like Dan said, doing different things. I'll go out, I'll, you know, you know, I'll make breakfast or whatever. But if I know that I have an hour or an hour and a half to get something done before I have to go do something else, I, I work for that hour and a half. I go do what I have to do. And then when I come back, you know, I know that I have two hours before the kids, you know, you know, sports or something like that. I'll get it done. You know, it sounds like you don't sleep is what it is. You sacrifice your sleep. Well, yeah. Oh, you stay asleep too much, Jimmy. 
No, I, I with what he just said, I know that what that's yeah. like. Like, there, when's the window to sleep? I don't know. Oh, man. I don't know. I'm gonna, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna do. I, but I, I feel like I need that. Like, I don't know how, like, you guys do it full, you know, full time. Like, it takes a special myself, person, full-time. Joe. Okay, it does. I mean, to, I, and I don't think I, I don't think I could ever do it. I know you couldn't, like Joe. Joe. I, mean. I don't know if you have it in you. you. Know. <laughs> no, the best thing about being full time is the open schedule for. Pity. Oh, I thought you were gonna say watching TV. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. And hands down, as far as productivity and tour and and being successful you know being able to do what you need to do is having that freedom to pick whenever you need to go picking and when when something pops up a sale pops up or whatever's going on you can just go oh i you thought you have, just meant that's like your life is just easier to just uh, part of it too is you just like it's just i don't know you just from from the world you, you gotta get, I mean, done, so get, get it done i guess but i gotta get it done i'm gonna i mean i don't know i have to get it done but that's that's the thing I'm saying. If I didn't have like those constant interruptions, I don't know if I that would be more productive yeah. for me. I, I almost have a feeling that it would be, you know. I, less, think, you, I think you're right because I'm struggling. You like, know, so I know that I have that time frame to get that done. And if I don't get it done, I might not have a chance to do it. So I force myself to do it, even though there are times where I'm like, I don't want to do it, or I wait to the very last minute. Like if I have like five or six orders to sh- ship. And I have a half hour before I have to go out to get Riley from the bus or whatever, pick the kids up or something like that. I rest me. I'll wait. You know, what I mean, I'll wait to the very last minute, and it's a struggle sometimes to get it done. But that's why I say that's why I always list in the morning because I don't. The one thing I don't want to procrastinate is my listing. So I I wake up I, like you got something usually every morning. Sometimes before she's up, I'm out on the couch just sitting with the dogs, listing the pictures I took the day before. Just to get it out of the way, like well, I, used I to know do if I put it off, I'll put it off the rest of the day if I don't get it done. I used to do the whole picture thing, come down, take pictures. So I always had them to do, like whenever I had. And then I found myself losing those pictures and listings in in my camera roll. You know what I mean? Like, oh, uh, did I list that? Or did I not? And next thing you know, it's sitting in my bin, not listed because I put it away, took pictures of it, put it away, and I never got around to actually. You know, when it comes, doing when the it comes to my phone and my gallery, like I, I'm on it. Like I, as soon as I'm done with a video picture or whatever, it's deleted, it's gone. So like, if you go, like my gallery literally is empty right now because I, like if it's a personal picture, I'll put it on my computer and save it somewhere on here so I still have it. Like I have a file on my desktop that says personal, you know, family pictures. Okay. So I'll just transfer it over there because I don't want, it's like it, but like you said, it bothers me when I go to list something. And there's a thousand pictures, and I can't, I can't deal with it. My brain's like, Man. I know. That's so I, it, I get rid of it. Right as soon as I'm done, it's gone. I used to do that. Take a bunch of pictures of ten or twelve items just to have them for whenever I, you know, had a free chance. I, it's part of my listing process. Like I list something. And once it's listed, I go to my gallery and I delete the pictures right then and there. Like it's while it's part of my listing process to delete yep. them right when I'm right after I list it. I have a I have a pair of shoes that are in pictures in there because I need to list it, but I don't remember where I put the shoes. They're in my I I put them away in my inventory, and I didn't write down where I put it. And you don't have them, so you can't. So I don't know where they're at. I have no idea where they're at. Nope. So the pictures stay in there because I don't know where they're at because I don't want to list them. Cause I don't know where they're at, and then I'm. I mean, it sounds lazy though, because I should just go look. Like, right? Like, it's so lazy. I have a picture of a ceramic Christmas tree that we found in the storage locker that I bought. The three tier Christmas. I all messed up. But I'm not. I said I'm not going to list it until I box it. Right. So I got to go box that tree because I want to have it boxed before. All it my sells. pictures are just. I have so many stupid pictures. That's the only right now. That's the only picture in my phone for listing is that Christmas tree. And I have some TikTok videos in there that I, I've been saving those in case I want to put them on another platform, like Facebook or YouTube. So I just kind of save those. That's it. That's all. That's it. I wish I have, the dogs. I have so many photos in my thing. I don't even know what. Does it tell you how many you have in there? Oh. I think it might. I think if you, I don't know. Again, I don't like. I don't know. Like, 
I don't know what you call it, but like I get overwhelmed when I see that many pictures in my gallery. I'm like, nope. I think nope. you call it ADHD. Like, I think you do. I have self diagnosed. You want to take a guess on the photos? Yeah. Seventeen hundred. No. All right. Well, that's how much you paid for your uh, batteries. <laughs> <laughs> I have 107,000 photos. What? On my phone. What? Oh, can you see? 107,323. 100, wow. Mine was probably like 15. And the last me- the last one is a screenshot of a guy that sent me a message. He wanted to buy Dirty Harry series that I have on DVD. He says, I'm sorry, I was ready to buy. They won't take my American Express. Sorry. You're oh eBay and you know American Express. Sony's vacuuming right over my head. Can no. you guys hear it? It's vacuuming upstairs. All right, guys. I'm not gonna say that we're gonna end it, but we're gonna end the show right here. Just end it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Leftovers podcast.